Hey guys, I'm Roger. I will be giving you guys a tour of your 29 foot uh, Palomino Puma. Alright, um, so really quick, starting off, if you see uh, the things that do stand out, I did want to point to you guys. This actually is just a compartment door. Feel free to uh, open this guy here, latch here, unlatch on that side. Just a compartment door for you guys' uh, extra whatever. And then walking in, your main entry steps, these will be uh, in the front of the trailer once you guys do arrive, but they do just drop down, allowing easy entrance to the inside. Uh, standard key, deadbolt. Uh, moving on to the forward, guys, uh, yours is gonna be your fresh water uh, fill-up. Now, the trailer does have capabilities, um, just like your standard travel trailer will. You do have an auxiliary 40 gallon uh, fresh water tank on board, and this is gonna be at the actual uh, fill-up port. You're gonna just remove this cap, taking it right off. You'll see this big uh, hole here. Put your one end of the water hose there, turn it on, let it fill. It'll actually start shooting water back at you from this breather port here, letting you guys know it's all the way filled. Um, so just like everything else, you do have a uh, hot water heater box. Now, uh, it's good to know exactly where the placement of this is. Um, so if you ever call us for any reason, we ask you guys to get into the hot water heater, also known as the hot box. Uh, this will be the uh, box there. Uh, open this guy's really easy. Tab up. I usually get like he's up side of my palm, Keep, open it up. And there's really not much you need to be in here, guys. I will just kind of go over a few things with you. These are thermostat resets for your hot water heater. Now, uh, one thing I did want to point, just so you guys are aware of, is the switch for the electric side of the hot water heater. So, uh, utilizing the electric side, make sure this is on the on position. You can actually turn it off if you don't want to use electric. But in most cases, run off electric so you don't utilize your propane. All right. Now, uh, moving on to the forward part, we do have the propane cylinders, as me and you have gone over before. We got a cool video for that, showing you guys exactly how to uh, turn on and turn off and replace tanks. Your RV comes with two full propane tanks, both stationed on the front of the outside of your RV. There are four appliances that run off for propane tanks. The stovetop, the oven, the furnace, and you can also use propane for the water heater. But the water heater does have capability of running off electricity, as long as you keep the HTR switch off. When you use the gas in the propane tank, you'll need to swap them out. Swapping propane tanks, first you wanna go ahead and close this uh, guy here, close your tank that you're gonna be removing, close it off. Then uh, your regulator in the middle will show red when it's completely empty. We're going ahead and moving this regulator off to the right hand side so you're now drawing from that second propane tank. Open that tank up and you're all good to go. Um, so as you see they kind of meet in the middle. That regulator does regulate pressure coming inside. So let's go ahead and process with removing the LP tank. Um, so first we'll remove the top wing nut. And then from here you can go ahead and find your propane hose. Again lefty loosey to remove it. Awesome. We can take the entire regulator off. Leaving the other one hooked up is not uh, harmful in any way. Go ahead and remove the crossbar. Take your LP tank off. Now putting it back up, super easy. Going to go ahead and put it back on this uh, track here. Get it into place. Go ahead and grab your crossbar to keep it secure. And next we can go ahead and grab the regulator. Toss the regulator back into its appropriate position there. Go ahead and get your propane hose righty tighty. And then from here you can get uh, all finished up. Go ahead and toss on your wing nut. Now once that's on, you can go ahead and put your cover back on and you're all good to go.
Moving more forward, we're getting to our slide outside. Um, I just wanted to point out uh, this guy here. This is gonna be an exit port for your furnace. Now the main furnace in here does utilize propane as its heating source. So try to be careful because this guy will be exhausting hot air. Don't block this for any reason. And if you have small kids, just try to watch out for this uh, area while the furnace is on. Uh, moving on to our slide outside. Um, again, a small little access panel, not much to really store in here, but uh, this will be your main slide out. Again, prepare for about three feet, um, allowing three feet. I did want to point out uh, the first of our two uh, actual drain outlets. It's a little hard to see, but this first drain outlet will actually be right down here. Underneath your RV are two gray tank deposits each corresponding to an area within the RV, the kitchen and bathroom, and the washing machine. All non-toilet water, such as sinks and showers, can be run off via the gray taps. Pull to open, push to close. The black tabs are for your waste, which can be left closed and handled otherwise by waste management. It is important to note that while the bathroom gray tab may look different, it is completely fine to pool and is not connected to the black tabs as it has an inch and a half pipe compared to the black tabs three inch pipes. And then same compartment door, just like the front side, additional storage for you guys to carry on in here. Um, that's about it. Now, I will show you guys one thing. Um, this is gonna be your actual power connect for the RV. So when you guys do go ahead and have your RV hooked up, you'll see your driver plugging a huge power cord into this guy here, and that's being directly plugged into your house power. Now, uh, back here, a couple things we do have. Uh, first thing to go over is going to be a um, cable hookup. So if you guys do have Dish TV, go ahead and call your cable provider, let them come out, and these are the hookups that they'll be hooking up to. Now, the other thing to get, uh, one thing to go over back here is gonna be your city water connection. Now, your driver will probably set up your power as well as your water, and this is gonna be the actual connection he's hooking up the water hose to. One end of the hose threads on here. The other end will thread into your water spigot, turn it on, and you'll be good to go. Um, this door here is not necessarily storage but what this will do is actually give you access to the rear of the uh, washing machine and dryer so this is more or less of an access panel for whatever technician needs to come and work on it but this is going to just be a access panel for washer and dryer 